As I mentioned a moment ago, we're going to talk about heart attacks, not the first one. We're going to assume you've already had one. We're going to talk about the second one because the American Heart Association estimates that one out of four men and one out of three women will die in the year following that first heart attack. As I said, we're going to talk about the second heart attack. Dr. Kent Lee with the UT Family Medicine is here uh, to tell us ways to hopefully prevent a second heart attack. It's preventable? Uh, yes, Don, to a great degree. Um, one of the things that people don't realize quite frequently after they've had their first heart attack is that there are a lot of modifiable risks that they have in their control. Uh, when you're laying in the bed and you've got all the tubes and wires in, in, the, in the hospital bed, it can be quite intimidating. A lot of things that people tell you sometimes go right over your head and you don't even think about them too much until after you go home and, and you're left there wondering, oh my gosh, what do I really need to do? Yeah. It's not really that complicated though. There's about four or five things that you need to do to decrease your risk. And uh, we know what they are because there's been a whole lot of studies of this uh, in the last about 40 years. There's a little town just west of uh, Boston called Framingham, and most people probably know about the Framingham studies. Uh, these have been done since 1948 where they wow. took about two-thirds of the whole population and they studied what the risk factors were for them to have cardiovascular disease. So in other words, they've got this pretty well nailed down after all these years. Pretty well. Yeah, okay, what are those four factors? Well, the big ones that I think that we need to talk about, the big one probably smoking. Mm -hmm. um, I have people that come to me, and we talked about this a little earlier, uh, that say, well, Doc, I'm gonna cut back. <laughs> I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna smoke less. <laughs> well, that's just not enough. You've gotta say to yourself, Smoking is one of the things that brought me to have this heart attack, and we're just going to have to cut it out completely. That's the, probably the number one uh, risk factor. A second one is cholesterol. Of course, you're probably getting screened if you're going to see your doctor every year mm -hmm. to find out where your cholesterol level is. And we need to bring that down. For people that have one or two risks, we need to get the LDL, or the bad cholesterol, below 100. If you've had other risk factors, we might even want to push that number down below 70, wow. the bad cholesterol. So the cholesterol is another thing that we can, we can modify. Another thing that you need to do is take the medicines that your doctor prescribes for you. There's a couple of them, such as beta blockers and ACE inhibitors, which are very good at modifying the uh, uh, shape of the heart so that it can recover from this injury. And it's an injury to the muscle when you have your heart attack, just like if you strained your muscle and got a charley horse when you were playing ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we need to make sure that we do that. And now the last modifying uh, feature is diet and exercise. And what we need to do on diet and exercise is follow the American Heart Association uh, Class Two diet. And it's available if people want to look at the website. There's a uh, there's a really wonderful website that the American Heart Association has, www.aha.org. And you can go to that website and they'll tell you all kinds of things about heart attacks and what you need to do to prevent your risks of heart attack and stroke. All right, that was what, aha.org? Uh, yes, sir, uh, www.aha.org. Okay. That's important. Yes, That's it important. is. And, and you know, it seems to me like in a lot of sense, these are very simple things that a person has to do. Well, you know what's really funny is we make life too complicated for ourselves sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. Thank you very much. By the way, if you would like more information, you can uh, contact 778-LINK uh, for more information there at Erlanger Medical Center. And uh, Dr. Lee, of course, with Family Medicine Center. You can contact him there as well. Now we join Mr. Food in the kitchen, actually. It's time for Italian Wedding Soup.